In this video, we are going to see how we can extract and reconcile the trial balances in QuickBooks. So let's get started. Now that we have completed our all entries, let's move on to the first report and that is the trial balance that we need to check for this company. So to extract the trial balance report, I'll head over to reports and click on account and taxes and go to trial balance. And it's by default set to last month, but I'll change it to all dates. So in case we have made any date mistakes, it will still show all the balances here. So the balance for it is 10922419. That is what I remember. So we can check here that this is the same. And if you want to remove these ledgers, which have the zero balances, I can just customize the report and go to advanced area and click on non-zero. Select non-zero for both and click OK. So this is the finalized report, guys. I'll attach this one with the link of this video. So you can check yours with it just check ledger by ledger if you have made any mistake or uh, your balances are different now if you want to save this one as pdf i'll go to the print area and click on save as pdf and write here the name and click save we can also export it as the excel sheet now how will you audit this uh, balances for example if you have made any mistake don't start checking from the entries which have Oh, one time entries like land and buildings. We only entered it for one time. We don't have frequent transaction in that ledgers. So whatever ledger have frequent transactions only check that ones. So for example, you will check account receivable, accounts payable, inventory and banks. So if that becomes correct, then every other entry will automatically correct itself. So for example, if you want to see the balance of a particular ledger, you want to see all the entries just double click and you have to manually confirm that each entry is showing fine according to the accounting treatment. Just check the relevant transactions from the assignment and then match it according to the entries. So for example, if you have made any mistake somewhere, you have settled it uh, like uh, instead of 40,000, you have settled 20,000 or so. So you can double click again and you can make the corrections to it. So the main key areas to check is account receivable, account payable, inventories, and cash and banks. This should solve the problem. You can also check the sales and purchase or sales or cost of goods sold. So just complete all of this assignment and extract all of these reports. So after the trial balance comes the profit and loss account. So if I want to extract that, I can change it to all dates and this is the profit and loss account. And similarly, I can check the company and financials and the balance sheet standard. So this is our balance sheet. So that's how you can extract the final reports in QuickBooks.